Hi everyone. Well, I'm ready to do my Mixed Media Morsels Book of Colors page for July, which is blue. But before I do that, I'm going to show you um, a couple of changes, well actually additions, additions that I made to my black and white page. Now, unfortunately, it's been, you know, about a month, so <laughs> I don't remember exactly what I did that I didn't cover in the video, but I'll point out the things that I think I added. I added a bird on the zebra's back. That was just a little rub on. I added a little doodled flower here. I added this ticket, which conveniently said June <laughs> in the right colors. Um, so that was fun to add. I added this little arrow. And then over here, I think I added the word after the fact. I don't know if I added that before or not, but I think I added that later. And then I also added a little uh, tea bag tag that I added a magazine cut out of a little ant. So I put that uh, on the tea bag tag. And then I left the back of it so that we could see or I could see that it was a in fact a tea bag tag that I used in this journal um, and I like the way that I ended up attaching this I really like it I might use this in my uh, container garden journal for some of my little plastic plant tags but what I did was I just glued a little loop of uh, a ribbon onto the top of the tag glued it on the front looped it over glued it on the back and then on the page itself, um, I know it's hard to see, I just made a little stitch. So it's it's on the back of a backside too, so it shows on the yellow page, which I don't really care. But it's just one little line, uh, one stitch, two holes, you know. <laughs> and um, I, I, I think I actually put the stitch on the page first, and then I stuck the ribbon through and glued it on either side of the tag. And I just think that's perfect, you know, because I wanted to be able to see the back side and, you know, make it interactive. And um, I kind of push it up a little bit here and it kind of sticks up above the page some, so that's fun. So I think that was all I added. Oh, maybe this, um, it's a little ribbon. Uh, it's a swirly ribbon, one of those sheer ribbons and it's got a black swirl pattern. Uh, through it. So I already had that little piece tied in that little knot and it was sitting in my scrap bag and I was like, okay, that's perfect. I'll just tie up my little leafy branch with uh, the ribbon. So <laughs> that's what I did. Uh, maybe this flower too. I might have added that after the fact. So it just, uh, I just actually came across these little things and found that the page was empty enough that I could add them. I may have added this extra bit of uh, washi tape like I had done over here. I may have added that later too. I don't remember, but either way, um, this is how it has turned out. I'm, I feel like I'm pretty much finished with it. I mean, I, who knows, there could be something I come across at some point down the road and I decide to add that in too, but that makes it fun to me just to be able to keep adding and adding all along. So. Okay, so let's start on today's page, which um, is gonna be blue. Uh, I've got some uh, paper bits and things laid out here, all ready to start sorting through and deciding where I want to um, place them on my pages. So I'm gonna just get things uh, laid out and glued down, and then I'll be back in a few minutes when I get ready to put on my little images.
Okay, I have a couple of uh, ribbons here. I'm going to add a little piece um, to each page. I think that looks nice and it kind of brings in just a little bit more of the darker elements. I decided not to add these um, really dark pages because they are so dark and you know sometimes when we are putting things down uh, our little images and all down if our background is too dark then they don't often show up well so I'm trying to just keep it more on the lighter tones got some little blue items that I want to put um, on my page or at least see which ones are going to work the best so I'm going to start that process now.
I really like how uh, my page is coming out. Uh, so far, this is all I'm going to put on there for now. Except for, I've got a little number three stamp. And I'm going to stamp it uh, on this little scrap of cardstock. Okay, and then I'm going to punch that out. Because... Because I have that M that was blue that I put here, I'm going to put this little number three right here. So it's like M to the third power or M times three, which stands for mixed media morsels. <laughs> so I'm going to add that just because I think that'll be fun. And even if nobody else knows what that stands for, I will always know that that's what that means. Get my tweezers here because this is so tiny. Really tiny to hold. Okay, so I'm going to put that right here. And we will all know what that stands for, what that means. So, um... I did draw in the uh, the antenna back onto the butterfly, and I also drew the little curl back from the baby's head that I had cut off when I um, cut it out. So I think this is really fun, uh, Paige. There's still room for a few more little bits and pieces, which I will, of course, I'm sure, like I've done for all the rest of these, um, come back and add some of those things in. Oh, I do want to put a little white spot in my bird's eye. There's a light spot there, but it's blue, so I think he'll come to life more if I color that um, white. Like that. Now he's alive. <laughs> it looks much better. That's a little bird, by the way, that and the butterfly from uh, one of my planners. Janine Zlotkiss, I believe is the uh, the name of the artist, and I just love her work. And so I cut things from my planners occasionally to include, um, like I did, where else? I know I've got more. This little bird, this purple bird is... Um, from that. This little orange bird is from that. I just love her um, her art. This one, also the teal bird. And this one, I believe. So, yeah, and this one too. I just love how, um, how she creates, how she does her little birds. So, I'm very inspired by her. And um, I'll outline this little seven and I'll probably put a little blue outline inside this box. Yeah, totally fun, just like always. And um, I love this little, uh, both of these images, the, the baby and the monkey are from children's um, books. And um, this monkey was actually running, but I thought it would be so cute to have him sitting on something. So I put him on the uh, a little arrow there. That was fun. And I set the baby on top of the vase. <laughs> Just because. Okay, so I will um, show you and share with you what else I may add uh, to my pages the next time. And so until then, I hope you guys have fun creating your blue page in the Book of Colors. And as, as always, I look forward to seeing those. And uh, we will see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.